That's tomorrow, That's and it. that is it for us today. And we will leave you with a... I can't do it. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! I can, I'll write it, and we'll do it live! And thing sucks! That boy Bill O'Reilly, man, come on. You guys got to agree with me. That gets to be the best, the best drop by anybody in the news world today. That's what's up. What's up? What's going on, everybody? I am Lockout Men. And welcome back to another Lockout Men podcast show. The show where I bring you guys interesting people, interesting interviews, which I'm about to do one right now. Now, you got to excuse the background because the lighting in here just completely sucks. I don't have the background lit up the way it's supposed to be, and it's a little bit dark. But I hope you guys just concentrate on your boy here, you know. I am Lockout Man, of course. Thank you for watching. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. You know what I'm saying? I really do appreciate it. Right now, I have a podcast interview with you guys today. And um, this young lady, uh, I, I, I came across her, but... She uh she she just turned in her keys today. Like I was like, yo, you know, I got a hold of her earlier today. You know, I made the appointment with her and everything. And she was like, nah, nah, I uh I turned them 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 keys today. But in in any case, I'm still bringing her on because she still have her CDLs. So hopefully she would continue to use them but she's here today just to talk her little her little experience and you know and and a little bit more so let's bring to the show all right so i would like to bring to the show Brittany. what's going on Brittany? how you feel today <laughs> i'm doing well Oh, well. All right, all right, all right. So where 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 you at right now? Where you at right now? I am leaving Wilmington, North Carolina. Shout out to the nine one zero. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. So you just uh, so you just chilling, just just chilling, head down to what? Uh, where where were you? You 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 was at the park today. What what, what was you doing today? Oh yeah, I was at the beach getting a tan. <laughs> Finally out of that truck, you know. Okay, that's what's Just up. Just wanted to take a little vacation. Mm-hmm. Okay. So okay, that's what's up. That's what's up. Vacation. See, I haven't. Me personally, I haven't had many vacations. So what I'm doing now is these little staycations. So I get a uh, get a chance to get out of the truck and. Uh, you know, do a little, uh, do a little couple of days to myself. I was just up in Minnesota. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was up in Minnesota, played some cards, and and uh, had a nice time at the hotel. So, but I am back. Uh -huh. I am back doing what I do best, getting these interviews in with the with with these interesting drivers, as well as getting back on the road <laughs> and getting these loads up and down these highways. That's what I do. That's what I do. All right. So Brittany, 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 uh, uh, where, where are you, where are you from? Uh, where, where are you from? Tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay. Um, originally born and raised from Jersey. Um, I moved down to the South, North Carolina to be exact, uh, when I was a teenager. So, um, I went to school in Durham. Got my CBL, Carolina Trucking School in Charlotte. And um, it was Murder, She Wrote from there. And I was um, in 2017. Okay, okay. 
All right. So what? So what? What was you doing before trucking? Like, what? What was you doing before trucking? Um, I started off as an Uber driver. <laughs> I was Ubering through college, um, and once I graduated, I had no idea what I wanted to do. Oh, so um, you you a college graduate? Did, when when did you graduate out of college? This year? Last year? No, I graduated in twenty fifteen. Oh, you graduated out of college in twenty fifteen. Mm hmm. Okay, so we, we you you talking? We graduated out. Of, how old are you? If I'm if I may ask. <laughs> You're not supposed to ask a woman her age. You know that, right? Nah, nah. But see, I'm 28 years old. Oh, okay. See, this, this, <laughs> I'm 28. See you. you see, you got to understand something. See, I'm 51, so I, you know, th you know that that trope works on young guys. That that don't work on old, older guys <laughs> like me. I mean, I, I'm. I'm curious to know your age. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I, I, I am definitely curious to know your age because, you know, you got some of these young, you got some of these young females out here that looks, that, that, that looks old, but is young. So yeah. Yeah. Brother, brother man going to ask right. that age, but uh, so you're 20, <laughs> so you're 28. So you got your, so you came out what? 2015. So that was, about five years ago, that made you about what? About twenty three, right? Twenty three. So you mm -hmm. was so you was twenty three when you came out of college. What 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 you uh what you major in? What's your what's your match? Did you go to full? Did you go? Did you go to full four years or or two years? You got your yes. Yes, oh, yes. you went you yes. you went the full four years. So what you what you uh what you got your, what you got your master in? Um, I got my degree in history. History. I was going to be a high high. Yes, I was. I was a history nerd. Yes. Okay. Really, still didn't know what I wanted to do, but I I knew that history. I had a thing for history, so I just taking history courses. They said, okay, well. You done took all these history courses. You might as well, you know, you got enough credits to graduate with that. So, yes, that's what I graduated with, with history. I was going to be a high school history teacher. I decided not to because teachers do not make any money in North Carolina. So I went and I started working at a daycare. I was working for a black lady um, who had her own daycare. And so I was still Ubering on the side. And I've always been a big driver, always been a traveler, always just wanted to travel. So I just decided one day, I said, you know what? I wanted to have my own daycare. That was the end goal. So I knew I had to get the money for it. So I just was like, let me just go get my CDL. Like, why not? And so, <laughs> and shout out to all the women truck drivers. It's so many of us now than when I first started, I feel like. I don't know. I haven't been driving that long, but I've, I'm seeing so much more young females out here. And, yes, I, I wear my nails and my lashes, and I just want, like, girls to know, like, you can, you can be pretty and be a truck driver, too. Like, it's not... You know, people say to me all the time, you don't look like a truck driver. I'm just like, what does a truck driver look like? Well, you know, you what? know? I, I was going to I was going to ask that question, but let's let's back up a little bit. So you 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 wanted to be a teacher. But right. you, as you said, and it's they didn't, and make, enough, they didn't make enough money. It's a sad, <laughs> it, it is a sad thing, to be honest with you. It is real, real sad that you got. And I I know people probably hear this trope all the time, but you know you got you got professional ball players, baseball players, basketball players, football players, uh, bullshit ass rappers, and and everybody in the entertainment world that's making a hell of a lot more than a school teacher. Like the school teacher is the one that's supposed to 
supposed to get the most money because they're the ones that's taking the time to getting your getting your loved one or the student ready for the world right you would think right you you would think teachers teacher salaries would be somewhere close to uh to to the stratosphere of police officers truck drivers uh uh medical workers and stuff like that but unfortunately teachers don't get that much and as i look and as i look it says the average base pay for for a teacher salary in north carolina is 19 dollars an hour is that right is that about right and they asking i mean they asking here it says the average salary for a teacher with two to three years of experience, bachelor's degree, and three selected qualifications is $19.07 per hour in North Carolina. How much, how much would you, being brand new, coming into a teacher field, how much you would have made? Of course, you wouldn't make that because you didn't have the three to two years experience. You're you're brand new coming in. So how much you would have start at that time if you was to decide to go into teaching? Um, from what I was seeing, you know, as I don't know, it's easier to say, you know, it's not about the money. Mm-hmm. But to answer your question, um, I would say it, it was like 33 starting off. I think it was like the average for North Carolina, like 30 to 33,000 a year. Mm-hmm. Wow. Which is like nothing. Right. Wow, <laughs> I think like bus drivers make the same amount. So it was just pointless to me. It was just pointless. But. So yeah. all all those many years. Okay, so let me ask you this because you know my son, he just graduated from uh college uh this year. Um not, you know, not not in the history or nothing like that. He actually got a uh arts. Well, it says arts, but it's more he he can do things like photography, uh radio, TV, uh, digital digital media, something like that, that he can uh, that he can get into. He's very fond of that, and he got his degree in that. But do you do you feel that since you went and got your degree in history, um, do you think now looking back at it, you do, do you feel that it was uh it was all a wash considering? Sometimes I definitely feel that, yes. Yes, because I feel like they made it more accessible for people to go to college. Mm -hmm. But they like, you can go, but take out all these loans. It's like, I don't know. I don't want to say set up, but I really feel like I was set up. (laughs) Because you was like, you know... It's told that you need a degree, you need a degree, you need a degree. Right, right, right. But I feel like times is, I'm, I feel like times is changing. And you don't really, I would go more of a route of getting a trade, getting some type of license. I think it's all about experience. Like, people want to see where, what you, where you worked at, where you've been, you know? Mm-hmm. Not so much of a piece of paper. So, yes, sometimes I do. But it all depends on really what you want to do. Because, you know, if you want to be a doctor or a lawyer, you need a degree. Yeah, you need yeah, but you need a degree. Sometimes yeah. it's not needed. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's not needed. So, yeah, I do feel like I was set up because I am paying. I'm probably going to be paying back these student loans for the rest of my life. But, you know. It's kind of. It, it, was it worth it? That's what <laughs> I, I was about know. to say, too. Like, do, do, you, do you think. Do you think the time being in college for the last four years? Do you think that? Do you think it was worth it as far as uh, as far as going to school and getting the college experience? 
Well, it definitely made me, it was definitely an experience. I wouldn't take it back. I definitely wouldn't because I feel like my college years was my years of really growing up and mm-hmm. being an adult and, you know, being out on my own and learning responsibility and, you know, so I definitely wouldn't take it back. So. All right, 10-4 on that, 10-4 on that. I, I <laughs> give you an applause for that one right there. Um, so... All right, so you definitely wouldn't take it back. This is the same thing my son said. He he wouldn't take back his his college years either. But but I you know now that I think about it, you know I sit back and I I thought about it because you know that was the whole thing for me for my son growing up. I wanted him to I wanted him to finish high school. You know I finished high school. I wanted him to go to college. I wanted him to get a degree because I felt that going into the future you know going into the future with all the ch- things that was changing in my generation you know with all the factories shutting down uh the the now that uh now that uh brick and mortar stores is shutting down uh you know everything is done over the internet everything is it ish now you know what i'm saying and i just felt for him that it was you know, what without a degree, he couldn't get a good job. You know what I'm saying? And and to this and to this day, technic technically still without a degree, you you can't get a fair job. I, I'm I'm gonna say a fair job now. Not just solo uh a so of a good job, but a fair job. But as you said, I, I felt the same way that you know these these inst these institutions set you guys up for failure because you guys is already in debt coming out of college. You see what I'm saying? Uh thousands and thousands of thousands of dollars every every year for the last four years, you guys gotta pay that back, you know, some kind of way, especially if y'all didn't have no grant. Well, you know, of course, he didn't have one. Uh, he didn't have a scholarship. You know what I'm saying? So, of course, he had to he had to get the student loans and whatever little bit of grant that they did give him and all like that. Uh, but he had to. It's like you say, he had to. He had to pay it back damn near his entire life. You know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, I agree. I agree with you, you know, as far as, you know, as far as they, they set it you up for, they set that you guys up for failure, but the experience, the whole, the whole college experience for you is, is, is a great one. It's a great one. So at least you, uh, at least you got that. So, so you was Ubering the, in, in any, anywhere else you was doing before you, 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 you got into a truck. Um, yeah, I was, I told you I was, um, at a daycare. Right. I was working at a daycare full time. Mm-hmm. And then I was, um, Ubering on the side. And long story short, I was working for a black lady. She owned her own daycare. And somehow I, um, got promoted to being her assistant. Okay. And I was doing payroll for her, for her. Um, I see how much she's making. <laughs> and I was like, you know what? <laughs> Bump being a teacher, I think I need to own my own daycare. Okay. And so that was, that was kind of, you know, the motivation behind me, you know, truck driving. Cause I knew I had to get the money for it. <laughs> okay, so you. I knew I needed to have the money for it, so Uber wasn't going to do it. So no, I, I don't you know, think I, U- I, I, I don't think Uber is going to do anything for anybody. I mean, unless you, <laughs> unless unless you a die unless you a die hard runner. You know, I, if you're a die hard <laughs> runner, then yeah. But other than that, no, I don't think so. Um, but so. You literally start seeing how much the young lady was bringing in, uh, being an entrepreneur, 
No, I like that. But you got to understand, though, you're you're on the outside looking in. You don't really know all of the ins and outs and, and the trials and tribulations that that young lady went through to get to where she was at. But I see that that inspired you to to start getting the goal in place. So that's a good thing. So where did you go to get your CDL? It was a trucking school in Salisbury, North Carolina, called Carolina Trucking School. Mm-hmm. And I went to the four week program. I quit my job. I was still Ubering, <laughs> but I was going to the school four weeks, six a.m. to six at night. Okay, for 12, four weeks. twelve hours for four weeks. Okay. <laughs> Yes, sir. I, I remember. Yes, I remember and, those days. Uh huh. So what? And so what year did you actually? Uh-huh. What year did you actually get your license? In twenty seventeen. Oh, okay. So you got you decided to get your license in twenty seventeen. Um, uh-huh. when when you got your license, and you know you you told everybody that you was going to be a truck driver. What was the response from the family and friends that, uh, that you told them? <laughs> I mean, at the time, what, 2017, you're, you, you're 28 now. So 20, uh, how, how old are you? Oh, you, oh, wait, 20, you was 20, mm-hmm. you was 25 was, was when 25. you got your, when you got your license, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, yeah. you know, 25 year old female, just, still you know still wet behind the ears but want to be a truck driver what what was everybody's response from that <laughs> well um not too happy to be honest i really didn't get no support Aww. i really didn't um i was a couple of a couple of my family members you know my mom, she was more looking at it as, you know, her baby's out going to be out on the road. She's not going to be able to see her, you know, if anything can happen. So, of course, she's not happy. She wants me to be in the office somewhere. <laughs> so, you know, and I was just like, I see, you know, women do it all the time. And I feel like I could do it as well. And... I just, I don't know. I just was like, forget what everybody's got to say. <laughs> I'm going to go get my CDL. I know how to do it. And even when I went to get, uh, up to the school, it was like kind of discouraging me. Like, I, I couldn't do it, really. And I still go through that. <laughs> Being a female driver. And, um, but, Yeah. Okay, okay. My family, they really didn't, um, they really didn't support my decision, really. Until they started seeing the money I was making. Oh, uh, now, see, that's, <laughs> that's when it started changing, <laughs> changing the people's minds, like, Oh, okay. Well, my baby over here making, making 45000 a year and, and all like that now. Uh, okay, I'll change my mind. I, I didn't like it before, but I I'll change it now. Okay, so you 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 got your CDLs from a from a CDL school. Did you did you pull out another grant for that, or was you uh, like an unemployment mm-hmm. like an unemployment? De- oh, you you or you pulled out a. I was under contract. Yes. Oh, uh, with the school and the I had work for. Okay, so you, so you, who was the contract for? Like, what was it? A trucking company? Was it a trucking company? What was the contract for? Yeah, the contract I was supposed to um, basically the U.S. Express will pay the school. Um, for basically helping me get my CDL. So it was like tuition reimbursement. It's like you help her get her CDL and she'll come work for us and we'll pay you kind of deal. 
<laughs> okay. It's, if that makes sense. So, so did you, so mm-hmm. I want to ask, and I know this was maybe a while back, but uh, was you one of them wide-eyed drivers that didn't read the fine print as far as how they was going to pay back the school? <laughs> uh, yeah, I work for them. And so... Oh, you bre- you breaking up a little bit. Hello? 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 There you go. There you go. Yeah, man. <laughs> you get into a good conversation and it's like Verizon and be like, no, we we, we going to cut you all out anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Continue with, uh, no. continue what you were saying uh, about, about U.S. Express. Now, let me ask you this. Uh, how long have you driven for U.S. Express before? Did, did you fulfill the contract or or not? Yes, I did. Oh, you did? I did. Oh, you yes. fulfilled the contract. So you drove for U.S. Express for a year at least. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, okay. So U.S. Express is not. A little a little over a year. Okay, uh-huh. okay. So U.S. Express is not coming. It's not coming after you for their money. They pretty much got, got the work out of you, right? <laughs> Right, right, right. right. So I want to break this. I want to break this net segment down into sessions. So, what was the experience like with the with the driver trainer uh, when you went to US Express? Because of course you you had to go out with a trainer. So, what was your experience with the trainer? Was was it a male? Was it a female? Was it a good one? Did you have to change a change up and get another one? What was your experience with uh with the driver training there? <laughs> it's definitely a story to tell. <laughs> I'm all ears. You know, it was. <laughs> uh, we 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 all ears. A young, young female. Uh, hold on. Make make sure make make sure the sounds right now. No. See, you keep breaking up, man. No, no, no. You keep breaking up. No, no, no. Oh, no, no. Hold on. You, you you keep breaking up. You you coming in and out. Oh man. I think it's the area I'm in. So you don't have that you, you don't have that good bars going on over there, man. <laughs> oh my god you don't have no good bars over there what the what the bars looking like i got i got two bars i got two bars you got two bars mm-hmm. see yeah it's going it's going up and down man it's going up and down you need to find a uh Oh uh, damn it man. Ah uh, okay. Uh, okay, go ahead. All right, go ahead. Um all right go about uh about the uh about the training time. Hello. Yes. Okay. Can you? Hear yes. Me? There you go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Whatever you do, okay. whatever you just did, was fucking awesome. I'm like, hold on, <laughs> hold on, wait, quick. Hold, hold on, wait a minute. Where? Is... Yeah, that was whatever you just did was awesome. So go ahead, go. <laughs> All right. So what, what you was about to? Okay. So you was about to say. Uh, about what mm-hmm. happened with the training time at U.S. Express. Okay. Okay, so I feel like uh, okay, so I'm just tell you what happened. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> so go ahead. I had my first trainer was a, a older gentleman. 
from Dallas. Okay. Okay. And and my first day. Can, can we curse over? Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. You good. You good. This is your story. Go ahead. Okay. So the first day, you know, me being excited to be in the truck, mm-hmm. I was just like, they gave me, um, I didn't, um, I did want a male trainer, but that was, you know, it's kind of hard to get trainers and all this and that. And so I really just got what they gave me, right. you know? And so... I was just like, well, if I just keep to myself and just get through this, you know, it'll be fine. Okay. And so the first day, um, we went out. Our first trip was to Tennessee. Right. And we was, you know, just talking, get to know each other. And then he started talking about his wife. Okay. And that's uh, right. And so I was like, okay, so I'm just listening, you know, I'm not saying right, too much right, still. Right. Because I'm on a truck with a complete stranger. Okay, you know? Okay. So <laughs> so he starts talking about um how he goes home and his wife don't give him none. Oh, and I was just like, okay, what? Like, wait, like, <laughs> like, like, I mean, just, what? just right off the bat, just, just right off the bat, just come in and say, oh, well, you know, you know, me and my wife, we, uh, we, you know, we, 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 we don't have sets at home. So you sitting on the truck, like, like. I don't know. You you sitting on the truck like, bruh. Really? Like Yeah. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Continue. <laughs> so he starts talking about his wife and okay, so you know, us truck drivers, we have a long ride. <laughs> yeah, so very, after very a while long. you just start talking about it wasn't like that at first. Mm-hmm. But as we, you know, it's about seven hours on the truck. I guess he just ran out of stuff to talk about. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But he started talking about how his wife, they don't get along. He'd be trying to go home. I don't know if that was his way of trying to flirt. But it came off weird because I'm like, sir, you're like way older than me. I think you're older than my dad, you know? (laughs) And so I was just like, um. Hey, I don't know how this is gonna go, but you know. So <laughs> the next day, <laughs> he made a pass at me, and I was like, "Wow, listen, I didn't come here for that. You know, I don't know why you thought that it was gonna be that, uh-huh. but I'm just here to learn. Like, I'm I'm not here for that, you know." And this man, and this is, um, we're on the way to, we're leaving Tennessee and on our way to Laredo. And so, mind you, I never went this far, you know, by myself. And I'm in the truck with a complete stranger. It's just, like, kind of scary to me because this man is, like, I don't know if he's going to, like, I don't know. My mind is just going all over the place. It's kind of freaking, it's so, kind of freaking you out right now. Exactly. Exactly. And so I was just like, you know what, let me just, um, because at the time, you know, you can't, I was still new, so I wasn't driving yet. Right. So he was still doing all the driving. Okay. So I was just like, if I just, I'll just be quiet, don't say nothing wrong, you know, like I was just like, it was just an experience. Mm -hmm. So I told him, no, I'm not here for that. And this man started started tripping um, yes he started treating me different he started talk, like talking down on me like I was like if I was to ask a question like you know what's this button or what does how does do you know and then he would respond like very rude or like he like I was just like really 
Like you need help. Was this? You know, was this like a, it's really not that you, serious. You, you said this was an older mm-hmm. gentleman, so was this an older? Mm-hmm. Was this an older black gentleman or a white gentleman? Yes, yes, he was black. Oh, was black, I'm sad to say. Uh, over, uh, older, yeah. older black gentleman, and he. He he, he he you made he made a what what type of pass what type of pass did he make at you i mean what what type of pass that he made at you that made you uncomfortable um i will never forget he said what he was telling me how um uh, he used to mess with one of his old trainer trainees mm-hmm. and he told me um, what happens on this truck stays on this truck. He said That's that? his exact words. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and mind you, we're on our way to Laredo. That's so kind of scary. Like, wait, wait, I'm wait. wait. Like, he, said, he said he he said that. He, he said that to you while, y'all, while you guys mm-hmm. on your way to a, I, I'm sure that I'm, I'm sure that made you not only uncomfortable, very uncomfortable, not only uncomfortable, but very scared at the same time. Yeah, yeah, it was very, it was like whoa, and so I was like, um, so I couldn't really call anybody because they, you know, the truck is so big, so it's kind of like <laughs> hard to call somebody and tell. So I'm texting my mom, and I'm just like, Mom, I gotta get off this truck with. Crazy man, like he's really like talking about trying to sleep with me, and it's just like he's way older than me, and I don't. And he is married on top of that, like it was just a mess. And so when we got down to Laredo, we found it was um U.S. Express has um not a base, but a, um they got a terminal down over there off uh, of uh, terminal. They got a terminal yes. over there off of what's your name? But I I believe that they sold that particular terminal i'm not i'm not sh- oh, i'm okay. not sure but so i'm not sure but i i know i i forget where is it at. i forget where i know it's in laredo i know you get off i know right when you get off you make a you make a left turn you go all the way past the double lights uh and you you come up to the first stop sign you make a right and the terminal is all the way at the end it's right across the street mm. Yep. Is that the same? Is that the same terminal? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, I so so I'm I'm not sure. Now I know that uh, that uh, U.S. Express sold off part of their, you know, part of their logistics, and I I could have sworn that the Laredo terminal was 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 part of it, but but. Of course, you 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 still uh, you you was driving for him for a year and a half, so that was like what eighteen, uh, nineteen, a little bit in the nineteen. So they still, I left I left U.S. Express back up in sixteen, I believe. I think no, I left U.S. Express. Was it sixteen? It got to be sixteen or seventeen because I left them right when you was coming in with them. Um. So you make it to Laredo, you make it to the terminal. Uh, what was the atmosphere like then? Did you did you tell did you tell um, the people between me and him? Did you tell the people at Laredo, or did you tell somebody you know your your driver manager that you wanted to you know get up off his truck? What what was the atmosphere when you got down there? Well, I wound up telling him. Like, I don't want to drive with him anymore. Mm -hmm. And I didn't want to get off in Laredo because it was so far. And i never been down there. And I was just like, if we can just get back home, I will get off your truck. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm -hmm. And he told me no. No. He told me no. And he told me to get off his truck. Yes. Yes. Oh. Yeah. It was like a like a movie. I was just like, "Are you serious?" I was so livid when I got my stuff off the truck. Uh-huh. Um, I called U.S. Express, right? And 
I told them everything that happened, and they made me write a statement on him. And right. he cannot train anymore. Good. They didn't fire him, but he, he's not a trainer anymore. <laughs> good for you. Good good for you, uh, Good for you, Brittany, man. Good, good for you. He deserved that. You know, and I, I don't understand. I don't understand why these trainers are so garbage, man. They're so garbage, especially. You know why? Especially when it you comes to. My opinion. But especially come to a female when it comes to a female trainee, these trainers is so fucking garbage, man. But why, why is that? Uh, why is that, uh, Brittany? I feel like because they just let anybody become a trainer. They need trainers so bad. And all you have to do is take a class and become a trainer. Mm -hmm. Nobody is you know, on the truck with you, making sure, like, really training you. To, I think, you know, uh, I think all you have to do is take a class to be a trainer. So, I mean, how hard is that? Anybody can be a trainer. And this is why trainers are so trash. <laughs> trainers are yeah, trash. They, they, I don't yeah, know. They, they I, tried to, the my fleet manager at the time, uh, when I was there, tried to get me to train uh they tried to get me to train after three months like literally i mean haley mm. was it haley yeah it, haley called me up literally three months in like yo uh i would love for you to be my trainer and all like that we need more trainers you know you can you can give your experience and i'm over here like yo i'm still a fucking greenhorn woman like I, I'm, I'm still trying to learn how to drive out here myself because the trainer I had was fucking garbage, and I had to, I had to, I, I had to learn everything else on my fucking own while I'm out here. You know, granted the, granted mm -hmm. my second trainer, you know, he got he got me up and out, but still, I mean, I still had to learn everything on my own, like backing. He, I mean, the first trainer he showed me how to back work for shit. I mean, he did all the backing. I thought I was supposed to be backing, but he did all the backing. He got mad because, you know, like I said, I was slow at it. Well, look, uh, you know, I'm trying to hurry up and get in and out and all like that. I'm worried about my money, my money. I'm worried about my money, my money, my money. And I'm like, bro, like, what the fuck are you training for? I mean, if you're worried about your damn money and all like that, then you shouldn't be training. Well, you know, I got this truck to pay off. and Well, you shouldn't be leasing then if you... If you can't if you can't afford the damn truck, bro. I'm just saying. So you got off the truck, you stuck in Laredo. Uh of course he's not training no more, but you down in Laredo, what happened? Yeah. They give me a hotel room and I'm there for and I'm living. And they tell me that they don't have any more trainers, and that mm. it was. But I, well, I wanted a female trainer after that, right. and I waited a whole <laughs> week in in the hotel waiting for a trainer to become available, and they never never got a female trainer for me. Mm. And so after a week there, I said, you know what, you know. Let's get this show on the road. Let's get, like, I'd rather just get it over with with another male trainer. Right, that's how I was. keep staying here. That, that's that's mm -hmm. how I was when, uh, when, when I was waiting. When I was waiting, the initial wait was at about two, about two, three weeks. I think I got my first train. The first trainer was like, I got on, like, the week of Christmas. We came, we came back home for Christmas break. So January, uh, first week of January, second week of, I didn't get on the trainer's truck until the, until the third week of January. And I got off his truck. I got off his truck maybe about two, two weeks into February. So that was crazy. So they, they, mm -hmm. they didn't have no, they didn't have no female trainers. Um, 
no no female trainers for you. Uh, you 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 getting, of course you getting kind of you know kind of lucid and everything. So you just decided to just say fuck it, send somebody so I can get the show on the road. How was your experience with the second trainer? My second trainer was um, a, a bit different. Um, he was a white guy. Okay. And so, um, you know, it was it was just a, a better experience. Not because he was white, mm-hmm. but because, you know, he um, was very respectful. Mm-hmm. Um, he took his time to teach me. He was he had military background. Okay. So I felt like um he was he was a real good teacher to me. Like I learned a lot from okay. him. And so, um Yeah, that was that. Um we did a lot of um dedicated for some reason. And so um I got my back end down packed by that. Um just happened to back up to a couple of doc different docs a day mm-hmm. um on the target account. So I got my back in real good and once I finally got out of training I did not go back to teaming or anything. I just stayed solo for the next two two and a half years. That's, <laughs> that's what's up, man. And uh, so, again I am uh, again I am so sorry for you guys that that has to go through these bullshit ass uh trainers man it's just it's just so messed up for you guys so two years uh Mm -hmm. so what two two years um what so i got you on the phone earlier today and you say you just turned your keys in so are you still uh, were you are you still with us express and you turned your keys in or you, you went to a different company drove with them and then you just turned your keys in Yeah. Um. Okay. So long story short, um, I had wound up after that year was over. I took time off, and I um was gonna go back to U.S. Express, but I failed my drug test for marijuana, and so that just changed everything. Yes. <laughs> Yes, and I don't know how. Hold up, now how? (laughs) So you, so you, so you were still, yeah. So you, you, so you were still with U.S. Express then, right? Um, no, I had stopped working for them. Uh, Okay, and um, like two months later, you, you mm -hmm, two, okay. They had wrote me and said, "Come back." Uh huh. And so I was gonna get, I was gonna go back with them after my year was up. But but wait so, wait 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 wait. Okay, so I'm okay. So 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 that I could get some clarification, you you quit mm-hmm. U.S. Express before you went with the current company, mm-hmm. right? right? Okay, so right. why? So you you just you just quit U.S. Express because. You you got your experience in you you got what about a year year and a half two years you got your experience in or something happened that forced you to quit U.S. Express. Um no well it doesn't happen I was just um like I said I was under contract mm-hmm. and so once my contract was up I just was like because I felt so bound to it. Mm-hmm. Once it was over, I was just like done. I was just done. So I wanted to just get off the road and just take time off. Okay. And so okay. I didn't know if I was going to go. And, you know, I wanted to try another company. I don't know. I didn't know what I was going to do, but I just took time off. Okay. So I took about two months off. Okay. 
and they wrote me and they told me to come back. I could come back and work. Today. Okay, this is you. This and is U.S. Express. When I came, this back, is U.S. Express talking to you. Yes, this is U.S. Express. Okay, so you mm-hmm. took so you took a couple of months off. Um, you took a couple of months off to yourself. U.S. Express called you back. And mm-hmm. you went back to them, pretty much. Right. Okay. Okay. So. And I failed my sugar drug test for marijuana. <laughs> okay. So what? Okay. So Smoke wait, wait. Every day. You okay? So you you failed. Okay. So coming going back to U.S. Express, you failed your drug test, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Now, as we talked earlier, you said you just turned your keys back in. Is it to U.S. Express because of the drug test or a different company that you... No, uh, no, no. That was two years oh, ago. That was in 2018. Okay, okay, okay. I'm Okay, mm-hmm. okay. Catch up, Sean. Catch up, lockout, man. Catch up. Okay. I'm there. I'm there. All right. So you, you was going to go back to U.S. Express. You went back. You took the drug test and boom, you 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 got you got dis you you got disapproved because of uh because of the marijuana. <laughs> Come on, That's Brittany. So I'm, gonna right. to, I'm, I'm gonna have to give you the buzzer. I, I'm, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to give you the buzzer for that. Come on now. I'm gonna have to give you the buzzer for that one, man. What uh, I mean, what you you That's knew funny. you knew you was coming. You knew that you was gonna go back. Well, you well maybe you didn't know that you was gonna go back, but you knew that you had the orientation come up. How how long prior? Yeah. How long prior did you did you do the marijuana thing? It Smoke must have not been that day. long before you had to before you had to go to orientation. It was. That's the crazy thing about it. It was. I really waited. Third, I looked it up. It's saying you have to wait thirty days for it to be assisted. Okay. So I think I waited. I think I waited thirty one days, <sighs> and I really I feel like. That's, I'm not going to lie to you. That whole two months that I was off the road, I was I was smoking a lot. <laughs> uh, so, because day. I felt like I was on vacation. So, I was, I'm not going to lie. But I did wait when I was going, I said, you know what, I'm going to go back to work. I'm not going to smoke. And so, smoke I waited 30 days day. and I still failed the drug test. Yes. That's what happened. <laughs> uh, man, you 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 had to you you had to you, you man. Hold on, here we go. Smoke weed every day. <laughs> so you 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 was just on vacation. You was up on vacation, just blazing it up and just smoke. Weed you you every ain't day. had no kind of care in the world. Until you got that call. Now, they called you back. So when you got that call back, <laughs> you was like, oh, okay, cool. So let me, let me, let me, uh, let me stop. You know what I'm saying? Let me stop and, 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 and try to get this out of my system. You looked it up about 30 days. Right. I thought, I, I thought that, Smoke you know, I thought 30 day. days is enough. I, I thought, I thought 30 days was mm-hmm. enough, but, but, Man, didn't work. So you you uh no. did you have to now at that time, I think in twenty this is what, twenty nineteen, right? Twenty nineteen, twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen. Okay, so this was what so this was way before the clearing house. Uh before you had to register for mm-hmm. register for the clearing house, right? Oh, I'm not I know that is yeah, the clearing house now you as as a new driver that's coming into uh into the industry they had to register for the fm csa uh drug and alcohol clearing house thing so if you flunk the drug test you, you it will be on your record if you flunk the drug test 
Uh, if you refuse to take a drug test and stuff like that, it will be on your record. Uh, you will have to do some type of training or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, man, I, man. All right. So with that, with that out, with, with that out the way, with that, with, with that out the way, um, what was what, what the, how how long how long Smoke you was, weed every how long day. you was down before you uh before you uh jumped in jumped in the truck again? Um, it wasn't very long. Um, I just I knew that with that on my death report, I wasn't going to be able to drive with the big boys anymore. So I had to go to like a private company. And um, that's when I, you know, started a show for a company out of Illinois. Oh, you went to a black you went um, to a Russian. you went to a black ops company. <laughs> that's what I that's that's what I call the that that's what I call the Russians in the in the foreign companies. You you went to a black ops company mm-hmm. because they would they you know they would mm-hmm. probably give you a chance which sounds like they did you know what I'm saying so um mm-hmm. yeah some some of them guys they do check the DAC report and then some of them don't check the DAC report you know they could check the DAC report and be like oh it ain't no big deal we good you you good you. You 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 only did you you only did a you you only did a little you only did a little you 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 okay we we got you we got you so uh company in Illinois what what was you you want to mention the company's name or what what was the company the company was R J Trucking and um R J Trucking. R.J. Trucking. R.J. Trucking. Am I familiar with R.J. Trucking? R.J. Trucking. Okay, hold on right quick. I'm trying to, I'm trying to pull it up. Let's see. R.J. Trucking out of Illinois. Uh, Let's see. R.J. Trucking. Okay, okay. R.J. Trucking out of out of Bedford, Illinois, Rockford, Illinois, which one? Um, um, what? I think it was Plainsville, Illinois. Oh, Plainsville, Illinois. Oh, okay. Um, okay, Plainsville, Illinois. All right, so so you rocking out with them? You 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 uh you rocking out with them for a while. Um, what was what was the experience like all the way up into the conversation we had earlier today? Um, it was a lot different. <laughs> it was a lot different. Um, they I learned very quickly the trucking industry is very cutthroat. Yeah. <laughs> I learned that very fast working with those Russians. Um, they do a lot of illegal practices as far as running off the skin. Log books, like, they don't know what that is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, it's, it's, a, it's tough. It's really, it, was, it was very tough. Um, I was making a decent amount um, so I stayed for like a little over a year. Mm-hmm. Um, but it was it was very different. I would say that it was very different. You say very different. Um, huh? Me and him. Yeah, I would just say I don't know. It is they them work know how to work it's just so let me <laughs> it's a lot so, of work it was so a let lot me ask you let me let me ask you this right quick um let me ask you this very quick so uh being that it was more of a uh like i said before a black ops company because that's what i call them um 
they uh they did, did they put any pressure on you to run illegal or anything like that uh yeah did they did, I guess. Was, At was first, everything done by e was yes. everything done by email? No, he was he was the controller of the clock. So say if um you know, if I needed to be somewhere that was three hours and I only had, you know, an hour left of drive time, mm -hmm. you know, he somehow, some way he made it happen. He could fix my clock yeah, he, yeah, yeah made, make, it made, happen, it exactly. made it happen for you that's yeah they <laughs> yeah they good they they right, good for that right. they 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 good for that they they would definitely make it happen for you if you need some time some more time to to like make it right then and there so uh was this was you 1099 with this company yes I was. okay see that's another that's another mm -hmm. thing too uh, that that drivers gotta that I gotta mm -hmm. understand that you know even though the, you know I I will say I will say black ops companies will be good will be good companies to drive for to in case you had issues with with the with with the big boys sort of say so say for example if you had issues and you needed a couple of years or another year or something like that because some companies say, oh, okay, well, you know, this happened to you. You need about, check, check back with us in about a year or check back with us in about two years. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you got to drive, you got to have a good record before you can come back to us. And Black Ops, you know, Black Ops 1099 companies is good for that. That's why I said some of them, looks at the DAC report and some of them don't look at the DAC report. You figure if they, you know, if you're going to be 1099, they might not look at the DAC report because you're not getting paid insurance. Um, not the insurance for the, for the truck per se, but I'm talking about your benefits. They don't give you benefits. They don't, they, you know, they, you, you, you just get a paycheck. That's it. You get a paycheck. And then you gotta you you gotta cut out your own taxes, your own dental, vision, health. You gotta cut you you gotta cut out all of that out of, out out of your paycheck. That's all they give you. But it's good that it's companies like that out here because you can still use that to your advantage. You could drive for a couple of years or a year or something like that, and then you can go back to the big boys and be like, yeah, okay. Yeah, I I got my experience in safe driving. Bring me back, just like that. So you turned your keys in. What today? Yes. So actually, it was two days ago. So you turned your keys in two days. Two days ago. You you turned your keys in two days ago. Mm -hmm. well, what was the what was the reason you uh you you turned your keys in you, you just couldn't deal with it no more or what 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 happened? Um uh, yeah, so fast forward, I drove for them. Um, I drove for RJ Trucking for about a mm -hmm. year, and I was just completely. I looked at myself one day in the mirror, and I said. You are literally going to work yourself to death. I was not sleeping. I was like, the only focus was getting these loads there on time. And I thought that I was, I had to because I didn't have no other choice because I knew like I wasn't, I wasn't going to be able to find a job nowhere else. So I figured like this is just what it's going to be. So it work is work, you know? So I had that mentality for a while. Mm -hmm. And then, like I said, I looked myself in the mirror. I said, Benny, like, you you look tired. You need rest. You need rest. And why are you continuously letting these people, you know, just work you like that? So I was just like, you know what? I'm done. I'm done. And so when I tried to quit, with RJ, um, it was like a whole big thing. 
because don't get me mm-hmm. wrong, I didn't come to him like, you know, I'm tired. I use the, the great old excuse. I have a family emergency. Right. I need to go right, home. Right. And so he, he right. So he he knew that I was I wasn't telling the truth. Okay. So it was like I tried to do the right thing and put my two week notice in. Okay. And I was just like, I'm going to give you two more weeks and it's over. And so he took me at that as like I did something wrong to him. And so he was like, he didn't want to give me no more miles. The last two weeks that I worked for him, he did not want to give me no more miles. Um, my last paycheck with him, he shorted me $700. Mm. Because he said that I went out of route, mm. I went out of route. I used his, um, I used his fuel to do some something, or I forgot what was the excuse. But um, he took a two thousand dollar deposit from me while working for him. So when I was going to get that de- deposit back, um, he took eight hundred out of my deposit for. Um, for damages um, to his truck, quote unquote damages that I did to his truck, um, which really, yes, that really came from, and I still have this all in my email, yes, because I asked her, um, like, why am I only getting back 1200 out of the $2,000 deposit? Because I gave you guys a two-week notice. I gave you your truck back in great condition. I never got into an accident. I never damaged that truck. And so I didn't understand. She sent me a receipt of, because when the, um, I had got an inspection done and I had a leak. Mm -hmm. And so the trooper had put me out of service. And so the trooper told me that um, I couldn't drive until I got the fi- the leak mm-hmm. fixed. So she sent me the receipt of when the the trooper had put us out of service, and um, I guess it was a fine mm-hmm. for that, and the fee the fee for um, for getting the tr- the oil leak or whatever type of leak it was, fixed. So she took that out of my deposit. So she made me pay for that. So (laughs) I was livid. They wouldn't answer the phone. I could only speak to them through email. Um, I was just like, you know, I didn't even do anything wrong. All I did was just finally stood up for myself and say, like, enough is enough, you know? And I feel like I didn't just leave that truck on the side of the road. I gave them a proper notice and everything, and they still shitted me. So I was just like, okay, <laughs> it's really it's really a cutthroat industry. And so, but, you know, I put myself in this position. So I really couldn't be too mad, but I just, you know, and then talking to other drivers that work for him, um, you know, they had the same problem. So it is it's crazy. It's crazy. These foreigners they feel like they can just do whatever and then if you wanna take them to court it's gonna probably cost you mm-hmm. more trying to Try take them to, take, to court yeah, than what they exactly. owe you. Exactly. So, so it's just best mm-hmm. it's just best to it's just best to take all of this as a learning experience. Like I said before, I mean, you know, black eye companies, they, you know, it is what it is with them. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but it's good that you that you got out of that situation. Uh, it's good that you got out of that situation. So now, so now you back at home. Uh, are are do you have any do you have any kids? Are you married? Do you uh, what, what's what's your situation right now? No, I'm single. I with no kids. Okay. Um. Yes. Yeah, so. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, so, uh, so you back, so you back at home. So what's uh, what's what's the plan now? I mean, are you going to, 
uh, get back into trucking or are you going to, are you going to leave it alone and try and try something else or what's the, uh, what's the plan? Um, I, I'm never going to quit trucking. I, me as a female, I feel like for my own sanity, I need to just take time off throughout the year. Like when I'm ready to get back on the road, I will. Okay. So now I am, um, I'm trying to switch it up. I want to try to get some type of broker license okay. Okay. or into dispatch or, you know, get into the logistics side okay. of it. Um, definitely never going to leave trucking. You know, I hopefully one day I am and I want to get a box truck company, okay. my own box truck company. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. So, yeah, that is the go the plan i think that um right about now i'm just it's just a lot right. <laughs> a lot with these um these foreigners and i'm just not up to it anymore you so you're not up to it no more huh? i just say you know what <laughs> you see, you're just not up to it no more man well well man I, you know good Hold on right quick. Brittany. Oops, hold on right quick. There we go. Brittany. I appreciate you coming on. I appreciate you coming on. Uh talking, you know, sharing your experience and everything like that, man. Um what what uh what what kind of advice what kind of tips or advice that you can give some of these young new jacks females that's coming out in the that's coming out in this industry man what what can you uh what what kind of tips you can offer um i would say um just be about be about the business Get out and make your money. And if you if you want to make this a hustle, or something short term, get in, get out, and get your money. But if you want to make it a career, that is fine as well. Just make sure you you know that you know. Don't let nobody take advantage of you because you are a female. That's it. You know, a lot of times people judge female drivers as if, if we can't, you know, do the job, you know, and um, don't want to pay us and talk down on us. But as long as you tell people that you could do it and, you know, be about your business, people will respect you, you know, and I don't know. That's what's up. That's what's up. So before you get up out of here, you you were saying something to me about you know you was giving a shout out to uh, to the to the female drivers out here. What uh, what shout out that you want to give to the female drivers and and how and how you guys present yourselves out here when you know you step out of the truck and you look all dialed up and everything. Tell tell me what tell them what you was telling me earlier. <laughs> um, I don't know what was I saying. You, saying, you, 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 I you like were saying, yeah, 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 we talked about it a lot. But you were saying shout out. You know, you wanted to give a shout. <laughs> you, you wanted to give a shout out to the female drivers. So, do you want to do that? Go yeah. ahead, go ahead, give a shout out. <laughs> I mean, I was just saying shout out to us because it's not easy. It's not easy mm -hmm. being out on the road, mm -hmm. you know, and um, especially the females that have kids. I really commend y'all. Um, I don't know. I just feel like women, we could do it too. And you, you don't have to um, look a certain type of way, you know. It's, we could be dolled up and still drive that big thing, so... Okay. <laughs> 
I don't That's know. What's up, man? That's what's up. All right, so that's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. Brittany. I appreciate you coming on the show. Uh, if you guys want to come on and chop it up with your boy, you can do that. You can hit me up in the Gmail. Lock out me in Gmail. Uh, lock out me in podcast at gmail.com. Or you can find me over at Instagram. You know what I'm saying? That's where I'm at all the time. This and this why I come across all these, all these interesting female drivers from Instagram, from YouTube, from from Facebook. You know what I'm saying? They they come, you know, I'd send out the invite. They'd be happy to come on and share their experience. And I am happy to share it with you guys. Uh, if you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell and that all button for more content like this and make sure you hit that all button so you can receive all the content uh i think i got somebody to play me out right now and as they're going to play me out i would like to say thank you for watching thank you for uh for listening uh if you like to support the channel you can you can hook a brother up with some coffee the link is in the description the cash app and the and the coffee app so hook your brother up with some coffee man and on that note uh on that note until next time i'll come back at you guys with another with, an, with another video you guys take it easy peace beat it up and catch a charge extra large and extra hard put this keyword right in your face wipe your nose like a credit card hop on top i want her fried i do a kegel while it's inside spit in my mouth look in my eyes this keyword is wet come take a dive it continues uh, along